But the big news really is that Jaden Sancho is back. And I guess I mean, it's good to see him playing again in the, in, at the top tier. Well, it is, yeah. I mean, he's a talented lad, isn't he? And, and what he's gone through at United has is, is really been sad to see, really, from the outside looking in. Um, for me personally, it's great to see him in the Champions League at that level. He must have thought when he was training on his own at United there, mm -hmm. he was a million miles away mm -hmm. from that, and it's turned out for him. It just, I think, he, you know, the problem at United was it needed communication with him and the manager, perhaps his agents, perhaps his advisors, his someone family, someone had to sit him down and just say, look, what is this about? He needed help, and he's getting that from Dortmund now, you know, so he's going back home as such, where he started his career. He hasn't pulled the trees up yet, really. I think he's got a couple of assists, mm. but he's a talented lad. It's, it's on the mental side, I think, that he's, he's got to settle himself down. We may see it tonight in a big game because it's a really tough, you know, it's a balanced game that I'm going into to watch that game and cover that game. Yeah. I can't see who's going to win that. It's going to be a tough one. It's a smart, I think it's a smart thing from his advisors, you know, getting him back to Borussia Dortmund, which is probably... Listen, they haven't done many smart things in the interactions with Manchester mm. United. Because, like Glenn said, you know, it's great to see him back. A young lad, you know, he had to be ill-advised. To, to, you, you know, how can you be the brightest young player in England and get your move to Manchester United and then all of a sudden you're training by yourself? Mm. There has to be stages where things would have broke down. So, it's, you know, people probably not telling him the right things to do, how to conduct himself in that situation. But going back to Dortmund is the right decision because... He's going, you know, you know, you need to rehabilitate your career, rehabilitate yourself, and what better place than where he's had so much success. You know, now it's up to the lad, you know, to get himself up to speed. Don't it, like Glenn said, don't expect fireworks from, from day one because he's, you know, he's, no matter who you are as a footballer, it's very, very difficult if you've not been playing to come into the team, especially a winger, because you're, you, you're, you play on your instincts. So uh, I'm really hopeful for him that he'd learnt from his experience at Manchester United and we see the player that we, we've seen in recent years. It's a delicate balance, isn't it, Michael, mm. to sort of be a player who needs to feel the love, you need to feel accepted where you are, but you also have to be mentally strong as well. And when the two worlds collide, this is exactly what happens. Yeah, well, yeah. Welcome to professional football at the yeah. highest level, I'm afraid. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You know, it's the survival of the fittest and you've got to be a very, very good player. Very, very strong mentally. Mm. And he's got a big challenge ahead because we know he's got the ability, but arresting the slide is probably harder than, mm. you know, keeping mm. building up on, on momentum. So um, now there is no second chance necessarily. If it doesn't work at Dortmund, then where does he go from there? You know, it's can you slide any further type of thing? Mm. And it's a big thing to say so early in his career. But he's put himself in that position. He's on the back foot now and he needs to come out fighting and we all sincerely hope he does. Do you, do you know what? Sorry, Glenn. You know, for, for, I've been in that situation. When you go from West... When I went from West Ham to Chelsea and you're like, you couldn't do no wrong at West Ham. It was, you know, everyone's slapping you on the back, saying how well you are and what good player you are. And you go to a bigger club and then there's demands and all of a sudden you're not... You know, like he's gone to Manchester United, he's not the... You know, it's not all it's, going through yeah. him. He's got to figure it's his way out. So he needs to sit pond. down in himself and figure out, like Mo said, welcome to professional football. What do you want to do? Do you want to go and win trophies in your career? Or do you want to go and, and, and have a f wonderful highlight reel? And because he's such a talent, we, I love watching him play. You know, so, you know, mate, you know, he needs to figure that out for himself. What does he really want? And it's got a real testing time for him. Like Mo said, the next six to 18 months is crucial in his career.